related to the G20, Lal Sahib has already uh, given a brief description about this, the G20 celebrations. In this backdrop, I welcome all my dignitaries here who have spent their valuable time and uh, are gracing this occasion. I welcome uh, other guests also. Given a very brief description, I can say it's a proud moment for all of us uh, related to this G24. India has taken over G20 presidency and a crucial government of India has initiated many activities and events. throughout the year, that is from, uh, uh, have, it has already been started from December 22 and we have also a series of programs that were given to us from the Ministry of Education. For this welcome address, uh, ladies and gentlemen, as we move on, uh, may I now request our guest of honor, Dr. Fayaz Ahmed Lonsa, Principal GDC Women's Kupara, to kindly come forward and share his thoughts. Principal of the host college, Dr. Abdulshid Malik, Principal uh, uh, DC, under the title One Earth, One Future. The theme for G20 under the presidency of India is perhaps a slight alteration of the title of the book which is purely a book on environmental issues. Now why one earth, one family, one future? What does it signify? What does it convey? I don't know, I was not here, maybe Hilal Saab might have introduced the anything because I have not heard him. You will excuse me for that. And maybe you may find something uh, I may add to his introductory remarks. Basically, one earth, one family, one future, it points towards a borderless world. A world without borders, with common resources, common issues, common opportunities and common challenges. Because whenever we talk about one earth, especially one family, it means that we are a global family living on earth. So it is a sort of belongingness that we jointly should have. We were one even 200 million years before. You know, there was a supercontinent called as Pangaea, and India was part of that. When that Pangaea it segregated into two, we became part of Gunwana land, and Gunwana land was in the southern. On this point, that the human being has been created from the soil or from the earth, from the dust. In many verses, it has been relieved. Thank you, sir, for your words of wisdom. Uh, felicitation of dignitaries has been scholarly tradition in academics. Ladies and gentlemen, now it's time to move on with uh, momentous presentations to our esteemed dignitaries. Atiti Deva Bhava, one of our tradition, to confer to this tradition May I request of G20 Presidency and Youth Engagement in the context of Y20. The talk will be delivered by Dr. Mahmoud Ibrahim Khwaja, Assistant Professor, Department of Political Science, Government Degree College, Madhwara. Session second will be entitled as Future of Work, Industry 4.0, Innovation and 21st Century Skills. Uh, this session will be delivered by Dr. Bilal and Malik, Senior Scientific Officer, Department of Electronics and Communications, University of Kashmir. Ms. Rifatwani, 
chairperson Kashmir Servers, which is an NGO, will be will discuss on gender equality in session third. In session four, Dr. Shazia Loon, assistant professor, Department of Environmental Sciences, will deliver her talk on the theme Mission Life and Climate Change. And in session five, we have uh, that is a uh, session which all, you all uh, may be waiting for. We will be having a cultural program followed by a validity session and vote of thanks. Thank you very much. You know why is this Indian presidency so important at this point of time? Just remember, 75 years ago, when India got independence from the British colonial occupation, in the Western world, in the Western world, एक आम्रत अपने बच्चों को बोल रही थी कि बेटा ये केला खाओ आपको अंदाजा नहीं है कि दुनिया में एक कंट्री ऐसा है जो इंडिया है वहाँ लोग केले का छिलका खाते हैं केले की तो बात ही नहीं ज़्यादा ज़रूरत है और जेंडर इक्वेलिटी का फोकस ज़्यादा विमेन पे है क्योंकि विमेन इन इन तरीकों लोगों को दिखाया जाता है जब डिग्निफाइड वे, ग्लामर वे में विमेन को डिस्ट्रेस्पेक्ट किया जाता है। तो अभी इन चीजों को मध्यनजर रखते हुए जेंडर इक्वेलिटी में विमेन डेवलपमेंट की बहुत ज़्यादा ज़रूरत है। और दूसरी बात ये है कि यूएन का एक स्टडी है, I don't remember the research paper name। तो उसमें रिवील participation in uh, uh, presidential post is power, powerful in mind by uh, running a mission of women development and gender inclusiveness pe, ya gender equality ko aam karne pe, zyada se zyada kaam karte hai. they are on the mission of uh, this or in cheezo ko integrate karne ke liye we hope we all of us hope shayad is baar g20 se itna fayda milega kyunki 2008 se nahi kar pata nahi promises we have on gender equality we hope these promises are met now or gender equality ko baar izzat sa raha jaye thank you very much सब बच्चों के लिए सिर्फ सिर्फ एक शोर मत समझ लेना आप कुछ और मत समझ लेना चूड़ियां हैं कलायू में मेरी मुझे कमजोर मत समझ लेना थैंक यू वेरी मच मैम फॉर एक्सेप्टिंग आवर इनविटेशन एंड शेयरिंग योर वेल विन व्हील्स ऑन द थीम लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन इफ यू कैम इनटू दिस ऑडिटोरियम थिंकिंग that our students are here to just manage things, then you could be mistaken. Because coming up next is the much awaited item on the agenda as it is the time for students to showcase their talent. So ladies and gentlemen, let's integrate and welcome Rafikula for a solo song. We have to plan, we have to make strategies within the carrying capacity of this planet Earth. Whatever limited resources we have available, we have to make plans accordingly. Next slide. You see, in 2015, in UN Assembly, there was conference of parties like they set some what you call as sustainable development goals. They set these goals for 2030. And these goals, like they, they are. Climate change, climate change, such a hue and cry. क्या ये natural भी हो सकता है? आपने कभी पढ़ा है कि somatic climatic variabilities or drastic climatic changes have taken place in the geological past. उसको तो human activity बिल्कुल ही नहीं थी. Humans were not during those times. तो फिर वो क्लाइमेटिक जो ड्रास्टिक वैरिएबिलिटीज थी वो कैसे हो गई ये थोड़ा सा मैं आपको यहाँ पर बताना चाहता हूँ बिकॉज आई एम स्टूडेंट ऑफ जियोलॉजी जियोलॉजी थोड़ा सा इसके बारे में जानकारी जो है जियोलॉजी स्टूडेंट्स को रखते हैं मैं सब यहाँ पर है देर आर डिफरेंट रीजन बाई विच क्लाइमेट चेंज इज नेचुरल 
और ये इस तरह से चेंज नहीं हो रही है जो आप इस पर देख रहे हैं कि वी आर पासिंग थ्रू द एज दिस इज वी कॉल द दिस वी कॉल इट द न्यू टेक्निकल टर्म फॉर इट वी कॉल इट द एंथ्रोपोसी एज एंथ्रोपोसी दिस इज द न्यू टेक्निकल टर्म दैट हैज एंटर्ड इनटू द लिटरेचर एंड बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस एंथ्रोपोसी एज वी हैव सीन दैट देयर इज अ बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस टेक्नोलॉजिकल एडवांसमेंट एंड बिकॉज़ ऑफ द ये जो ऑर्बिट है ये भी चेंज होता है इट चेंज इज नेचुरली वो कैसे चेंज होता है वी डोंट नो इट सो समाइम्स इट बिकम्स एक्सक्लूसिवली सर्कुलर समाइम्स इट बिकम्स एक्सक्लूसिवली सर्कुलर वेन सर्कुलर बन जाएगा तो उसको क्या होगा वट विल बी द इंट्रैक्शन ऑफ द दिस एम आर electromagnetic radiations uh, with respect to the surface of the earth it will be sand almost sand almost uniform to us ka seasons aapke kaise banenge and what will be the length of the seasons it will be entirely different so sometimes what happen iski jo ye orbit obliquity hai kabhi kabhi ye ek side mein zyada chala jata hai that we do but nonetheless have patience and uh, बेस्ट चीज ये है कि इन प्रोग्राम्स में जब भी आप आए कम विद पेपर एंड पेन एंड राइट सर्ट ऑन थिंग आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट सर कि एक बार ये लेक्चर इस पर जरूर डिलीवर करें कि ये होता कैसे है बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट टू नो कि ये ऐसा क्या हो रहा है ये बिकॉज वेन यू टॉक अबाउट क्लाइमेट चेंज तो एक बहुत बड़ा पेपर्स पता नहीं हाउ मेनी ट्रीज है one is what's our responsibility towards this earth are we any way responsible what is that what should we do my topic what they had chosen was vasudev puttamukha it's a very interesting thing and uh, this is something that has come from the sanskrit phrase one family one future and one earth this is also the theme that we have for g20 presidency because we are we are having the presidency as a country there are many programs that are taking place across the length and breadth of the country usme jo vasudev kutumbakam hai one family one earth and one life you just have to think about what can you do main do teen cheezon ko do teen cheeze aapko de ke we will end this one what i will request all the students is this please read and read carefully agar aap logo ko अगर आप लोगों को लगता है कि स्कूल या यूनिवर्सिटी जहां पे आप सिर्फ पढ़ रहे हैं ये किसी काम का है जॉब के बगैर तो दूर रही क्योंकि मुझे लगता है ज्यादातर जो स्टूडेंट्स पढ़ते हैं वो या तो एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से लेकर पढ़ते हैं दे ऑलवेज थिंक ऑफ जॉब एसएसआरबी का टेंशन बहुत है यूपीएससी का किसी को है किसी को पी का है बट उसमें आप स्टडीज को Well, I won't take much of your time, but kindly indulge me just for uh, just for five minutes. First and foremost, I would like to put on record our deep sense of obligation and indebtedness to the patron of this conference, Professor Mohammad Shafi Loon, Principal of the Host College, for his unconditional support and guidance in conducting this event. I'd also like to extend my gratitude to the Honorable Editor D C, Gulam Nabi Bhatt, for sparing some time out of his busy schedule and making it here this Sunday and be a part of this program. of that i must admit that we are extremely privileged to have among us the eclectic ensemble and some lots of dignitaries and speakers in the form of principals uh, dr uh, fazlul loon sir and uh, dr abdurshi malik sir and the source persons in the form of dr ibrahim khwaja ms rifat wani dr shazia loon I would like to express my deep sense of gratitude to all the speakers and source persons for their thought-provoking and insightful lectures and for their rhetorical brilliance. I would also like to thank the coordinators of the program Dr. Hilal Ahmed Mir and Dr. Shazia Loon for beautifully coordinating the program. My special thanks also goes to the whole organizing team including NSS, NCC, IIC and the Cultural Committee of the college for their hard work and sincere efforts. during the preparation of this program i feel in my duties if i don't pronounce a big thank you to the whole audience
students and faculty alike, without whom the conference would not have been possible. Thank you all. Have a nice day.